Camera work is a big component of any major film. It gives the audience an overall feel of what they're going to see in the movie, what to feel, what to expect, and what to know. Handheld camera shots are a shot like no other kind. They let you experience true emotion, real grit, and feel as if you're actually there participating in the movie. You can get up close and personal with the subject of a film and feel as if you're right there with them. In some cases, you'll feel as if you are the character themselves. Some cinematic shots capture emotion, but nothing does quite like the handheld shot does. It really puts you in the action and it puts you in the, in the situation better. Today we're going to discuss four films that really utilize the handheld camera style. The Blair Witch Project, Jackass the Movie, 127 Hours, and Hardcore Henry. All four use handheld cameras, but in a different way. They all capture different emotions, and they all capture different experiences. However, they all have one thing in common. They all include the audience. The Blair Witch Project is a 1999 horror film that ultimately started the trend of handheld camera usage in feature film cinema. The movie was a huge success, largely in part to the camera usage. It was something that no one had ever seen before, and it really brought in the audience and it captured their raw emotion. Without it, it would have just been a normal movie, but with the handheld camera look to it, it was like the audience was really there and, and captured in with the film. Handheld camera usage works really well in horror films because we experience it as the subject experiences it. We go through the same emotions they do because it's like we're there next to them. We capture our feelings through their feelings. We experience it all in one unison. Jackass the movie was filmed in 2002 and it was originally a low budget project for some friends to make a couple extra bucks. As they released more and more videos, they became a lot more popular and they gained a real following. They gained recognition from a major production label, but even though they had extra revenue coming in, they stuck to their handheld camera roots. This gave their videos a home movie feel to them. It made it more relatable to audiences, and it made it feel more nostalgic. 127 Hours is based on true events. It follows a man who uses a handheld camera in order to film himself in desperation, in order to keep his sanity. By keeping this format in the actual movie, it helps audiences feel real emotion. They experience what the subject experiences, much like all of these movies do. It sticks true to the realism of what really happened, and it helps people feel more. They become more connected with the man as they feel they're watching him from their own eyes. Hardcore Henry is a 2015 action film, and it's unique because it's the first of its kind. It was the first to ever do a POV shot of an entire movie. By shooting an entire film in POV, not only are you with the character, you essentially are the character. You experience the entire film as they experience it, right there with them. Because essentially, you are them. It takes the personalized feel to a whole new meaning. Now, you are the character. This truly encapsulates the entirety of what cinema is supposed to do. You take old ideas, you recreate them, you renew them, and you make them your own. Handheld shots have been around, but not quite like this. The success of a film can largely be attributed to the camera work done. Now, handheld shots may be an acquired taste, but they're an innovation within themselves. 